I'll, I'll take some of that glue. Oh god! I hurt my neck a little bit. Or my shoulder. From that jump. From that. Hey, what's up dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with the Nuka Queen build. Your votes, community inspired, the creation of this lovely lady. Oh god. Ah! I'm just looking for turrets. Just hitting the vats for turrets. Oh man, maybe another medex is due. That actually might be the perfect thing. I'm a little lost. Backing off. This is not exploring time. This is being very careful and why- Psycho, nice. Being very careful time. And we're totally gonna take a medex the next time we encounter her. Any form of opposition. Didn't see anything particularly dangerous up there. This is a really weird lighting effect. <laughs> right in front of the wall. A lot of just random dead humans around. With the- uh, Ooh. With ammos. God, this is just... So, if you- Dead by Daylight has a character who, uh, you know, if you know that game, that's where you play as either a killer from, like, a movie and- or the survivors running from the killer. There is one of the killers that you can play as as a chainsaw, and it's always revving in the background. That's what this sounds like. It's really uncomfortable. Oh, the lack of lighting is really terrifying, too. Because, I mean, all I- I don't hear any robots, and we're very clearly hidden, but it's just... <sighs> At least a lot of these guys are having 45 rounds and fusion cells. Oh, it's that noise again. It's from these downed rockets, isn't it? Shouldn't be as scary. Hello? Oh, I'll take some of that glue. Oh god! Damn! So afraid! Oh my god! Oh my god! Why isn't that alien dying? I hurt my neck a little bit. Or my shoulder. From that jump. From that. God. Alright, I keep hitting the wall is what seems to be the problem. Solve it. Okay. Really wasn't that powerful of an enemy it turns out. It still scares me. Hello? Ooh, it's the repair station. Okay. Why are these guys even on here? Like, why would they even be turned on down here? It's just... Oh, that freaking head. God damn. Alright, second door. Uh, we seem safe. God, that was just there to scare the bejesus out of us. I don't recognize where a lot of these places are. I really want to ride these rides. I, uh, I want to ride them when they won't kill me as well. That would be nice. I hear something buzzing. I don't know. It's a Galacton Guardian that's off? Let's just put a grenade in there and just leave everybody to die. Is that someone who needs me to kick their ass? Please die. What the? You can run. How did you not die from any of that? So now, when we talk about survival mode, I will be disappointed if I die. Very, 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 very disappointed if I die. But the point at the moment is that survival is doing amazing things. I am on my toes like I have never been before. Alright, so there are two more star cores in this place. And we haven't actually explored all of it. Definitely explored a good portion. I'm debating on going back to the save. It's a long way back, but it would be a long way forward if things failed. Alright, we're gonna do this dangerous thing again and walk the track. Oh, the mute the sound of these little robot things powering up. Very awkward. So I now understand that hey, it's the Astro Girl again. And it's just a cutout this time. I understand now that, that what I thought sounded like a revving chainsaw is actually the radio speaker is just being very, very broken. I mean it's been a couple hundred years. Why? Why, you stupid- Oh, because it was closed. Okay. Alright, we are in danger, though. Oh, crap. Duh. I knew it wasn't all the way empty, but still, I hoped. This is really cool, and I want to ride it. I don't want to die before I save. 
Why are there so few saves in like the Nuka places? That just seems like this. Once again, it's this is terrifying and actually is a really cool effect. It's uh, it's a little weird on the point of view though of like. It's oh god, it's almost like it's too much in a way. Like I would feel like maybe if they had a bet one bed at the end of this location, cool. But instead, they might just have a like no bed, and then I have to walk all the way back again. All right, we're dropping down on these stairs this time. This is a new spot. We haven't been here before. Well, look at how far forward our character has to lean to do this. Yeah, you're very unlikely to shoot me from down here. Not a, not impossible, just unlikely. Oh, god damn! Here we go. Taking the stairs again. Oh, who's shooting? We still have that super alien laser thing that we have to fight. I'm really glad that I just that remembered like memory that remembery that remembery hit me. Ooh, okay. However, those guys stayed in one place. So it was God, this is an annoying sound. Are they shooting each other? They might actually be shooting each other. Alright, just to be safe, we're gonna take some medics. Also, the sound is a lot less terrifying when you're in here. A little bit of medics. Thirsty, that's fine. We got plenty of water. I could even nuke a cola if need be. Alright, so we got some healing going. Got some crack. Novatron. Alright. Up. They are actually shooting at something else. Are you dying when you're getting hit by whatever that is? Okay, we're gonna try to take a peek. That's the Novatron. All right, let's see if we can get a grenade in there. Oh, please don't turn around, you lovely aliens. Oh, they turned around. All right, we killed whatever the stupid thing is there. All right, we're hidden. There's still shooting going on. It seems the Novatron is dead though. God damn. Just taking my time. Saltrons are so big and terrifying. Oh god, I don't want to keep moving forward, but here we go. Holy shit, it's self-destructing in our direction! Okay. So the animatronic aliens turned on the robots? And us? Yeah, and us, and us, okay. Just making 100% sure of that. What is uh, this little like moon laser thing? It's like a moon laser thing, okay. Hidden. Okay. Woo! Fuck you, game. <laughs> oh, I wonder if there's actually something back there that we can grab. That's uh, that's pretty funny though. Well, I'm gonna check to see if this box is anything. Just some 10 millimeter buff out. So uh, that was just like a fake. Can I like push through this? No. Okay. Whew. Okay, it's been a little while. It's basically like the entire episode now at this point. Another star core. We got one more here. This is so frightening. See, the thing that really bothers me about this when I, I keep talking about, like, at least have a bet at the end or something, is, like, once I go through this whole place, I am going to go back here after I save to just loot shit. That's a bit of a pain. Got it. Blood sack. Someone put a blood sack, like, 200 years ago in here. Why? What did you want to do with that? All right, so we're at an elevator. We might have actually made it through this entire place. We might need to use this hatch if things are going crazy. I remember this. Okay. Alright, so there's one more star core in here somewhere. 
I, uh, I think I'm just gonna head back. We're just gonna get out. And then when we come back here for looting, we can look for the star core. <laughs> I'm starting to run around. However, I'm reminding myself, do not do any such crazy action. We can still die at the drop of a stupid little hat. All right, so somebody was on this particular one and it flew off the track and hit the wall, I guess? That sucks. All right, so welcome back to the end of the ride. Medallion, Medex is worn off, that's fine. Going back to sleep. I'm hearing shooting right now, and uh, as we're moving, the hidden is wibbly wobbly. So uh, the shooting is that just caused by like this ride? Okay, now I'm very scared about jumping down too, because if I die from a fall, that is going to be the worst outcome ever. That looks like blood. <laughs> also, that tree is freaking out. I think this is the right way to go. I don't know if I would have died if it wasn't for that broom. Oh my god, thank you broom. I keep just going into hidden every once in a while. Which is really important to me. Because it seems like it's possible. There are other scary things here. Okay, we're going to actually hit the star core and shut off the handies. Because that will actually make us safer on the way back, technically. I'm actually, no, we're not. Because I don't know if that will like trigger something else to occur. Holy crap. Holy crap. I think we're gonna get a save. I think we have a second place completed. Holy crap. Ugh. All right, out of all the trees to freak out. I guess it's because the wind, like the storm is making this happen, but because of the particular way that my graphics card is reading this event, it is an old graphics card, to be honest. It's, uh, I'm, I'm working on, nope, wait, come back. I am working on having a, a, a new computer. And it is interesting if that is just how my graphics card chooses to uh, render wind. Which I think would be kind of interesting because like there will be such a jump in graphical quality between the new computer and this one. Damn Nuka -Cola. You know, this is the weapons workbench. We can actually check to see if it is time for us to do the rat and prey with the gun nut 4. Uh, we need science 4 to do some of these. All right, with that little bit of distinction, when is Science 4 coming out? 41. Okay, so we're not going to worry about that right now. You know, in that case, let's just do a Life Giver, right? I mean, we could eventually slowly regenerate lost health. That could be amazing. Also could do Black Widow for 5% extra damage. You know what? Life Giver. This is the first time I've ever picked it. Fast. Ever. <laughs> Gotta say, the sun sets, or the sun rises, I don't know what time it is, but just beautiful this is a uh, I definitely prefer nuka world without the rain and the like you know that's another thing that would be exciting about like the new computer too is I'll have a new god there's always a little uh, loading right there I'll have a new sort of perspective of how the world looks in fallout because this is definitely not the highest stuff and so having that new thing would be pretty cool highest stuff is the technical term all right star core Let's pump a few more of these in. All right, what do we have next? I bought handy protect. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, Saltron or Sentry? Sentry? Definitely gonna do Sentry. Oh, we don't get a second one. All right, well, we got the Sentries done. Those are the ones that kill us most. Saltrons were next, but Mark's Log. It's been three weeks since Ingrid and I activated Star Control. And the new robots in the galactic zone. Earlier today, I was working on a Nucatron when these damn kids came at us with their thirst sappers. Of course, they got soda all over the exposed hardware. The Nucatron lurched and pointed its nozzle right at one of the boys. I thought for sure he triggered the military protocol, and we were all dead. Turns out Star Control sensed the glitch, so we never had to find out. It shut down the Nucatron itself. God, I was so relieved. I still think having armed robots in the park is insane. But as far as I'm concerned, this star controls the real deal. Wow. Military robots. Ha. Huh. Okay. Due to a mix-up at Safari Adventures Animal Waste Facility, 
apple juice will not be served this evening at the Four Leaf Fried Fish Restaurant. Wow, that's a great announcement too. Anyway, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked yourself, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Of course, when the ground rises, meet your feet. Wind always be at your back, and the sunshine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.